All right, so what's primarily driving this sell-off and how much of this can be attributed to Elon Musk's latest pronouncement on pausing uh, purchases via Bitcoin? Well, I mean, uh, I think that one of the things that's most apparent about the crypto market these days, it, it's very hype driven. It's very driven by the things people tweet. And uh, when it comes to tweets, Elon Musk is the king of tweets. And I think that his pronouncement earlier, that was kind of an obvious sell trigger for many people. Whether or not it was warranted, I, I don't necessarily believe so. But what's definitely happened is the market reflected that sudden loss of confidence uh, from Tesla CEO. And that's what we're seeing here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this, of course, is not going in, is not in any way going to taper off worries about the volatility of, uh, the, of the of Bitcoin. Well, I mean, volatility is, you know, kind of one man's volatility is another man's price discovery, right? Mm -hmm. And the way that the crypto markets figure out what their correct price for any of these assets are is with the kind of extreme volatility that we've become very used to. So, you know, like in the history of Bitcoin, a 10% drop on any given day is not necessarily something to be extremely worried about. But of course, in absolute numbers, losing about $5,000 off of a, you know, kind of a $55,000 price mm -hmm. is pretty significant. Um, but that being said, I don't think it's, um, it's going to be a permanent kind of reseating. I, I, I actually believe that you know, as we're speaking right now, the market is already coming back. We were at a low of about $48,000 early this morning. We're at uh, a little over $51,000 as we're speaking right now. So I think what's happening is that a lot of traders are taking advantage of the cheaper price and they're buying mm -hmm. the dip. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't see this at least leading to a permanent downturn or a long-term downturn in that? I think that the crypto market is in a, a very pronounced bull run. Um, whether or not it's going to translate in massive gains for Bitcoin still or whether it's going to be for the other coins like Ethereum, um, that remains to be seen. But we're definitely still in a very optimistic market.